Welcome back to the logical reasoning. The sets of questions what in front of us right now, it is select the one which is different from the group. So it is called odd one out. So that's question number 26. What it is given is green, red, color, and orange. So which one is different from the group? It's straight, straightforward question. At a glance, you can see the answer. Green is red and orange are colors. Color is not a color. So color is the answer. Now rabbit, crocodile, earthworm, and snail. So rabbit is an animal. Crocodile, earthworm, and snail, you know what it is, right? So the answer is what? Which is different from the group? Rabbit. Now polo, chess, ludo, and carom. These are games. Well, chess, ludo, and carom, actually, what do you play on the board? So chess, ludo, and caroms, that's board games. And polo is not a board game. So polo is the answer. Sun, universe, moon, and star. Well, sun, universe, moon, and star. Sun and, uh, well, star. Sun is a star. So these two, sun and star, that belong to one category. A moon is a satellite. So that is not a star. Universe, well, it is not a star. It is not a satellite, but universe is which contains all this terrestrial bodies, right? So the answer here, it's universe. Universe is different from sun, moon, and star. Sun, moon, and star are terrestrial bodies. That's what it is. Now, number 30, cheese, milk, curd, and ghee. So one, two is right here. So this alignment is slightly changed. So this one is here. 2 is milk, 3 is curd, and number 4, that's ghee. So cheese, milk, curd, and ghee, which one is different from the group? Definitely it is milk, because cheese, curd, and ghee are the products, byproducts of milk. Now number 31, carrot, radish, potato, and brinchal. Carrot, radish, potato, and brinchal. So these are all vegetables at the same time. Carrot, radish, and potato, which is under the soil. And brinchal is different. So brinchal is the answer. Now, let's go for the next one. It's, it's a type of coding decoding question. So this is what it's water is called black. Black is called tree. Tree is called blue. Blue is called rain. Rain is called pink. Pink is called fish. Okay, then what is the color of the sky in that language? Color of the sky is blue. So blue is called what? Blue is called rain. So the answer for that is rain. This is what it is. Now we go for the next question. It's an ordering type question. Nagina is taller than Pushpa. So Nagina is taller than Pushpa. So the person, the tallest person on the right hand side the shortest person on the left hand side. So Nakina is taller than Pushpa. Nakina taller than Pushpa. Okay, so, well, Nakina taller than Pushpa, but not as tall as Manish. And Rema is taller than Namita, but not as tall as Pushpa. So Rema is taller than Namita, but not as tall as Pushpa. So Rema is, well, taller than Namita. So Namita is here. So this is the orange. And who among them is the tallest? The tallest, it's Manish. So Manish is the answer. Number 34. Pointing to photograph of a girl, Rajan said, she has no sister or daughter, but her mother is the only daughter of my mom. How is the girl in the photograph related to, related with Rajan's mother? So let's say this is the photograph of a girl right here. Rajan said she has no sister or daughter, but her mother. Her mother is the mother of that girl. Her mother is the, so let's say her mother, we can call it as Q. Her mother is Q. So her mother Q, Q is the only daughter of my mother. So Rajan says Q is the only daughter of Rajan's mother. So Rajan is here. Rajan's mother. 
and this Q is the only daughter of Rajan's mother. So that Q is Rajan's sister. And who is Q? This girl's mother. So this girl's mother is Rajan's sister. So in that case, how is the girl in the photograph related with Rajan's mother? So from the Rajan's mother's point of view, who is that girl? So Rajan's mother's point of view, who is that girl? She is the granddaughter, Rajan's mother. And her point of view, this girl in the photograph is that lady's, Rajan's mother's daughter's daughter. So that's granddaughter. Answer, granddaughter. Next one, 35. Introducing a man to her husband, a woman said, His brother's father is the only son of my grandfather. His brother's father. So here is the man. That man, that man's brother. That man's brother's father. So that man's brother's father is the father of that man as well. Right? Father. Okay, so this man's brother's father is the only son of my grandfather. Who says that? Introducing a man to her husband, a woman said. So the woman said, this man's father, this man's brother's father, is the only son. So we call this person as, let's say, T. So here, T is what? T is the only son of my grandfather. A woman says, T is the only son of that woman's grandfather. So we have the woman here. Woman's parent, whoever it is, mother or father. We'll just draw it right here. So this is the woman and woman's father or woman's mother, whoever it is. And that person's father is her grandfather. So this is the grandfather of the woman, grandfather. So grandfather, that's a male. So that woman's grandfather is right here. So here, these, this man's brother's father is the only son of my grandfather. That is what the woman says. So, this woman's father's father is the grandfather. Then that father's only son is who? I mean, grandfather's only son is who? Her father. So, that means that is that would be T. That case, T's Son is M. So that means that woman's brother is M. So what is the question? How is the woman related to the man? So that man's point of view, who is that woman? That is his sister. So that's the sister is the answer. However, sister. However, we have another way of looking at it. This woman, this woman's mother's father could be her grandfather. So grandfather could be father's father or mother's father. This woman's mother's father is the grandfather. Then that grandfather's only son would be this T. And her mother's grandfather's only son would be her mother's brother. And mother's brother's son is this man in the this man, introducing a man. Okay, so that's the man here. So this woman's mother's brother's son. So mother's brother's son, who would be that? Cousin. So there's another possibility, which is cousin, but we don't have any answer choice cousin over here. So we don't have such a possibility. Even though cousin is the correct answer, we don't have such a possibility. So we mark the answer, sister. So we confirm the first possibility. What's the first possibility? That woman, woman's father's father is her grandfather so her father's father's only son would be her father himself that father's son is m that means this m is her brother m's point of view this woman is m's sister so sister is the answer number 36 shobha is the niece of ashish Ashish's mother is Priya. 
and Kamala is Priya's mother. Kamala's husband is Hari. Krishna is the mother-in-law of Hari. So how is Shobha related to Hari? Okay, let's try this. Shobha is the niece, niece of Ashish. So we have Shobha here. Shobha is the niece, so that's a female. Shobha is the niece of Ashish. That means Shobha's mother or father is the sibling of Ashish. So Shobha is the niece of Ashish. Then Ashish's mother is Priya. The mother of Ashish is Priya. So Priya is the mother. And that would be the grandmother of this girl, Shobha as well. Because the Ashish and the Shobha's parent, they are siblings. So the mother of Ashish would be the grandmother of Shobha. Okay, that's fine. So Ashish's mother is Priya. Kamala is Priya's mother. Okay, Priya's mother is what? Kamala. Kamala. So that's a female again. And Kamala's husband is Hari. So Kamala's husband is Hari. And Krishna is the mother-in-law of Hari. Krishna is the mother-in-law of Hari. That means Krishna is the mother of Kamala. Krishna. Seems like a family with how many generations? One, two, three, four, five generations, right? Okay, good. So, well, the question is how is Shobha related to Hari? From Hari's point of view, who is Shobha? Hari's daughter is Priya. I mean, what is her name? Yeah, Priya. Priya's son or daughter is here. And this is Shobha. So, Priya's granddaughter is Shobha. So, then Priya's parent is Hari. So, from Hari's point of view, that is Hari's daughter's granddaughter. Daughter's granddaughter is would be great-granddaughter. So, the answer is what? Great-granddaughter. Now, 37. Karthik walked 40 meters towards north. So, that is, a, I mean, directions and question. Karthik walked 40 meters towards north. So, 40 meters north. Took a left turn and walked 20 meters. Left turn and walked 20 meters. So, it is 20 meters. And he again took a left turn and walked 40 meters. From here, now he's facing this direction. Again, he took a left turn and walked 40 meters. Now he reached here. This is the starting point. This is the final destination. How far and in which direction he is from the starting point? So this is the starting point. How far? Well, this distance is what? 20 meters. So the distance is 20 meters. And which direction? From the starting point, this direction is exact west. So west, 20 meters west. That's the answer. Now, next one. 38. Akshat walked 30 meters towards east. So Akshat walked 30 meters towards east. Then he took a right turn and walked 40 meters. Took a right turn and walked 40 meters. So that's 40 meters. Then he took a left turn. From here he took a left turn means towards this direction and walked another 30 meters. In which direction is he now from the starting point? So this is the point he is now, final destination. This is the starting point. So in which direction? So this direction, actually, this is south and this is east. So from this point, this is south, this is east. So that is this direction. The final destination is in between south and east. In between south and east. So that is called southeast. So the answer is what? Southeast. Now this question 39. In each question below is given a few statements followed by a few conclusions. You have to assume everything in the statements to be true, even if they seems to be variant, I mean, it seems to be different from the commonly known facts. Anyway, then consider the conclusions together and decide which of 
which of them logically follows beyond a reasonable doubt from the information given in the statement. So all fruits are leaves, some leaves are trees, all trees are houses. All right, so this is pretty much deduction type questions, right? So logism type of questions. So let's solve it. All fruits are leaves. All fruits are leaves. And some leaves are trees. Some leaves are trees. And all trees are houses. All trees are what? Houses. This is what the basic diagram for the given statements. And we may use different colors for each circle as well. Doesn't matter. So anyhow. In this case, what we are looking for, some houses are fruits. Some houses, well, this is, this is the diagram of houses. Can we say that um, some houses are fruits? This, these are the houses, right? Houses diagram. Houses, it's not intersecting with the fruits. So some houses are fruits, doesn't inter intersect. So some houses are fruits, it's invalid. So it's a positive conclusion, invalid means it doesn't follow. Next one, some trees are fruits. Some trees, look at that, trees. Some trees, are they fruits? Not at all. Some trees are fruits? Mm -hmm. No. Now, some houses are trees. Some houses, are they trees? Well, all trees are houses. So, naturally, some houses are trees. Trees are inside the houses circle. So, some of the houses, well, some of the houses are trees. So that follows. So what ultimately only one follows. And is there any possibility of either one or two? These two conclusions do not follow. What is the possibility of either one or two? Well, if it is either one or two, two conclusions, one and two do not follow. In this case that is correct. And one must be the one must be the negation of the other or these two conclusions must be contradictory. One is the negation of the other, then only we can have this either or. So, in this case, there is no contradiction. I mean, these some and some are not contradictory statements. Contradictory statements are some and no are contradictory statements because no and some, negation of no is some. So, this some and no, it's a contradictory pair or it is negated pair. So, that negated pair comes in, then there is a possibility of either or. In this case, we don't have any negated pair between 1 and 2. So, there is no possibility of either or. We don't need to check. So, the answer is only 3 follows. Now, all tables are mirrors. Some mirrors are chairs. So, let's try that. All tables are mirrors. All tables are mirrors. Some mirrors are chairs. Some mirrors are chairs. Some tables are glasses. Some tables are glasses. Now, conclusions. Some glasses are mirrors. Some glasses are they mirrors? Actually, this is the mirror circle. So, that case, mirror is intersecting with the glass. Okay, some glasses are mirrors. Yes, it is valid. It follows. Positive conclusion, valid for the basic diagram. It follows. Now, some chairs are tables. Some chairs are tables. Actually, there is no intersection between chair and table. So, that means positive conclusion, invalid, doesn't follow. Now, some mirrors are tables. Some mirrors are tables. Actually, all tables are mirrors. So, naturally, some mirrors are tables. That is correct. So, it follows. Only 1 and 3. So, the answer is only 1 and 3 follow. Next one. 41. Well, 41, what we have is forecast is future. Well, forecast is about future. Same way, regret is about what? Past. Simple one. This is analogy question. Forecast is about the future. Same way, we have the other pair. Regret is about what? Past. Now, number 42. Kano is to boat, right? Then mansion is to what? Kano is a type of boat. So, mansion is a type of house. So, the answer is what? House. Next one, Lakshadweep Kavrati. So, Lakshadweep, we know that it's a union territory. 
But for Lakshadweep, what is Kavrati? Kavrati is the, the center part or the administration office is in the Kavrati. So same way, Andaman, Andaman and Nicobar, which is the center, which is the like uh, the office or the administration center. For the state, we call it capital. And for union territory, we may call it capital, that's fine, but usually we say it's a center of administration. So that is which is a center of administration for Andaman and Nicobar. So that is PB, port player. Now 44. Which letter has same number of letters before it as S has after it? So look at S. How many letters after S? S is the 19th letter, right? How many letters after S? T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So there are seven letters after S. So same way, which letter has the same number of letters before it as S has after it? S has after it, seven letters after S. So which letter has seven letters before it? Seven letters before it, that would be H. H has seven letters before it. Or, you know what, the easiest way to find this kind of, uh, I mean, answer for this kind of questions is 19, that's a eighth letter from the right end because seven letters are here. From the right end, it is the eighth letter. Same way, we need to find the eighth letter from the left end. So from the left end, eighth letter is what? H. So H is the answer. X, Y. Well, X minus Y means X is the husband of Y. We'll take a look at that. X is the husband of Y. And uh, X plus Y means X is the daughter of Y. And X star Y means X is the brother of Y. Now, what we need to find if A plus B star C. What is A plus B star C? A plus B means a is the daughter of B. A plus B means, look at this. A is the daughter of B. So, A is the daughter of B. So, A is the daughter. So, that's a female. What's the gender of B? We have no idea. So, A is the daughter of B. That is A plus B. And B star C means, B star C means, B is the brother of C. So, B is the brother of C. B is the brother, brother of C. So that is what? X star Y means X is the brother of Y. So same way, B star C means B is the brother of C. Now, the question here, which of the following is true? A is the daughter-in-law of C. A is the daughter-in-law of C. Actually, this A is the daughter of B and C is the sibling of B. So, there's no possibility of daughter-in-law. And A is the niece of C. Well, A is the niece of C. So, C's brother's daughter. Yeah, that is a niece, correct. And once you get the answer, you don't need to check the other possibilities. But anyhow, for the class practice, we will check it out. A is the aunt of C. A is the aunt? No way. A is from the next generation of C. No way it can be owned. It's his niece or cousin or those kind of, even not cousin, I mean, not even the cousin. Well, niece is a possibility or maybe like a daughter-in-law. Those are the possibilities, the person from the next generation. So anyhow, owned is not a possibility. Now, A is the daughter of C. A is the daughter of C. Well, A is the daughter of B and C is the sibling of B. So that means A cannot be the daughter of C. So the answer, what we have is A is the niece of C. Next question. So similar directions, but question is different. If A plus B minus C, A plus B, well, A plus B, what we know is A is the daughter of B. A is the daughter of B. And B minus C, B minus C means B is the husband of C. B is the husband of C. So B is the husband of C. That means B and C are married and B is the husband means C is the wife. 
So ultimately, when you look at that, B is the parent of A, so B is the father and C is the mother. And Ant's choices, which is the following is true. C is the mother-in-law of A. C is the mother-in-law? No way. C actually C is the mother. C is the mother of A. That's correct. And C is the owner of A? No way. C is the sister-in-law of A? No. So the answer is what? Mother. So for example, point of view, when you get the answer, C is the mother of A, don't go for these possible answer choices. We don't need to verify it. As long as we don't have the answer choice like either 3 or 2, those kind of answer choices, if you don't have that, then there is no need to check these possibilities because there is possibility of, there is a possibility of only one answer. So that means this would be, once you get that answer, that would be the final answer. There is no need to go on that side with those answer choices. Number 47, in an alphabet series, which of the following is the eighth letter to the right of the fifth letter from the left of the seventh letter to the left of the fifth letter from the right? Actually, you know what, there is a bit of confusion with that question. I'll give you the right version of that question. So here is the question, which is the eighth Eighth letter to the right of the eighth letter to the right of the fifth letter to the left of the fifth letter to the left of the fifth letter to the left of the seventh letter seventh letter to the left of the seventh letter to the left of the fifth letter to the right of Q to the right of Q So in this case, when you look at it, which is the eighth letter to the right of the fifth letter to the left of the seventh letter to the left of the fifth letter to the right of Q? So at a glance, you know what, this question may be a little confusing for you. No need to worry. The, there is a way to solve this kind of question. So usually, if you get a question like, which is the third letter third letter to the right of the fourth letter to the left of n so if you get a question like this which is the third letter to the right of the fourth letter to the left of n. So we start from where? n. n is here. n is 14th letter. What we need to find is, which is the third letter to the right of the fourth letter to the left of n? Fourth letter to the left of n? n is here. Fourth letter to the left of n would be j. That is 10th letter. And we need to find the third letter to the right of that fourth letter to the left. Fourth letter to the left is right here. And we need to find the third letter to the right of this. Third letter to the right. So J plus 3. So that is 13th letter. 13th letter is M. So the answer is M. And there is another way of dealing with this question. Here we have third letter to the right. So third letter to the right. When we look at the alphabet series, when we go third to the right means it is increasing. From the 10, third to the right means 13. So if we, if we go right, it increases, right? So third letter to the right, we mark it as what? Plus 3. That plus indicates it's towards the right. And fourth letter to the left, fourth letter to the left, so 4 to the left. That minus indicates towards the left. So it's plus 3 minus 4. 
plus 3 minus 4, when you add it up, what you get is minus 1. So minus 1 is the resultant. Minus 1 from where? The given letter is n. So n minus 1. n minus 1 is what? n is 14. 14 minus 1 is 13. 13 the letter m. So the answer is m. And the similar method we are going to use over here. How do we do it? Let's check it out. Here, what we are looking for, which is the eighth letter to the right. So eighth letter to the right. So that is plus eight. I'll just write it over here, plus eight. Eighth letter to the right of the fifth letter to the left. So fifth one to the left, so minus five. And the seventh letter to the left, okay, so that seventh letter to the left is minus seven. And left of the fifth letter to the right, so fifth letter to the right, so that's plus five. So add it up. So we have minus five and minus seven. We have plus eight and plus five, plus eight, plus five, plus 13, minus five, minus seven, minus 12. So what you get resultant is plus one. Now uh, that plus one, from where? From where? Q. Q is given. Q plus 1 is what? R. So the answer here is what? R. So that's the answer. So ulti ultimately, when you deal with this kind of questions, you don't need to go all the way 8 letters to the right, then 5 letters to the left, then 7 to the right, then 5 to the left. That's time consuming. Other than just look at this possibility. This is the easiest way to deal with this similar type of questions. Now 48. So what we have here is a number series. Number series 5, 15. So 5, 15, 35, 75, 155. And what is the next number? So here 5 and 15 difference is 10. 15 and 35 difference is 20. 35 and 45, difference is 40. So 10, 20, 40. And 75 and 155, that difference is 80, right? 80. So here 10, 10 into 2 is 20, 20 into 2 is 40, 40 into 2 is 80. 80 into 2, 160. So 155 plus 160. 160 plus 160, we know that's 320, right? So this is... 155 and 160 means 320 minus 5. 315. Answer right here. So the answer for this question is 315. Next one. 9, 11, 15, 23. Okay, so what is that? 9, 11, 15, 23. What is next? 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15, 15 plus 8 is 23, so it is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 2 is 16, so 23 plus 16, 23 plus 10, 33 plus 6, 39, so the answer right here, 39, so this is the difference, the answer is 39, simple question, straightforward. Next one, we'll take a look at this one. 3, 6, 24, 30, 63, 72, or something missing, 132. So now we'll take a look at what these numbers are. At a glance, what I see here, 3 plus 3 is 6. Okay, 3 plus 3 is 6, good. 6 plus... 6 plus 18 is 24, then again 18, 6 plus 18 is 24, 24 plus 6 is 30, then 30 plus 33 is 63, then 63 plus 8, no, it's 9, 63 plus 9 is 72. So, well, alternate numbers, alternate differences are 3, 6, 9, etc. But you know what the other difference is 18, then it's 33, and what is next? We have no idea. 
So probably that may not give you the exact pattern here. We need to look at something else as well. Another one what I see here, 24. 24, there's a peculiarity for that. 24 is what? 5 square minus 1. So it is 5 square minus 1. And 63 is 8 square minus 1. So this is 5 square minus 1. 63 is 8 square minus 1. And how about this 3? That is 2 square minus 1. So 2 square, 2 plus 3 is 5, it's 5 square minus 1. And 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 square minus 1. Naturally, 8 plus 3 is what? 11, so 11 square minus 1. 11 square minus 1, 120. So we have the answer right here, 120. And how about the other differences? So if you look at the, the other numbers, 3 and 6, that difference is 3. Then 24 and 30, that difference is 6. And 30 and 63, leave it. The alternate difference, we are taking alternate difference. 3 and 6, it is 3. Then 24 and 30, it is 6. Then 63 and 72, that's 9. And we leave this difference and we go for the other difference. So alternate differences. So it's 3, 6, 9. Next one is 12. Yes, perfectly all right. So these differences are multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 4. So 120 is the answer, confirmed. All right, so this is how we deal with the questions from this area. Actually, you know what, this test is, seems to be a straightforward test, right? It's not a lot of difficult number of questions. There are two reasons for that. First of all, the questions are straightforward. The other reason, you have done a number of questions, so you are familiar with this kind of test as well. So there are two reasons and looks good all together, right? So let's continue this process when we meet next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.